I fucked up. Yo, what up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt, and if you saw my last video, then you know that I recommended this guy, the small rig L bracket for the Sony a7C. At the time of making that video, I did own both the L bracket and the cage for the Sony a7C, but I wrote the cage off for photography due to its size and the lack of a suitable workaround for the lack of the Arca Swiss mount for the portrait orientation. But, after I released that video, I started to receive some comments about the small rig L bracket and how it doesn't allow for full articulation of the LCD screen. Now, I had definitely noticed this issue, um, and I had been using the L bracket for a few weeks, but I got used to its quirks and I got used to working around the LCD not fully articulating. I talked myself into the idea that having to fiddle around with a flippy screen that didn't rotate all the way was a better option than having to bolt on a janky Arca Swiss plate to the side of my cage, which would also limit the screen rotation, albeit not as much as the L bracket. And also, in my opinion, the cage drastically alters the overall aesthetics of the camera, which was another thing that I wasn't too thrilled about. All that being said, I really do value what you guys have to say, so I took it upon myself to do a really deep dive and take a close look at the cage to see if it would work for me. I started off by watching Mike Smith's video on the subject and tried the Peak Design clip. The Peak Design clip kind of works. I got the screen to be able to fully articulate, but in order to do that, I had to mount the, the Peak Design plate at 15 to 20 degrees. And if you don't angle the plate, if you just mount it completely square to the cage, while you do get a little more arc articulation than with the L bracket, it still doesn't fully articulate, so you would have to mount it at 15 to 20 degrees. Which means that when you mount the camera in portrait orientation, your camera is going to be like turned by 15 to 20 degrees off of where you originally had it framed up. Which is pretty annoying in my book. So in my mind, the peak design clip is a step in the right direction, but it's not perfect but it did give me hope. So after trying the Peak Design plate and not being fully satisfied, I went around and I found every single Arca plate that I own. I tried every single one and none of them worked until I got to the very last one, which was this Small Rig plate. This plate from Small Rig, I think, is the answer to all of our problems. <music> Oh man, I'm so excited. Check this thing out. It is so awesome. First of all, the small rig plate bolts on with two bolts, which solves one of my biggest complaints with the more generic Arca Swiss plates, is that they can turn and get loose and start spinning over time, which just drives me nuts. And also, if you notice, the plate is biased way over to one side, which means that you have plenty of room for the LCD screen to fully articulate. And also, because the plate is biased over so much, you also have access to all three doors. And I'm able to plug in the audio jack with the plate installed, which is something that cannot be done with the Peak Design plate. So that's a huge win for me. That means because I can shoot photos, I can shoot video with this setup and not have to take the plate off, unless I'm fully building out a rig with handles and all the trimmings, but I don't do that very often. So this setup right now is working pretty awesome for my everyday use. Also, in addition to all the things that I just mentioned, the small rig plate also has integrated spring pins that will help keep your camera from sliding off of the mount in case you forget to tighten it down or it comes loose. So I've been using this setup now for roughly two weeks and it's been amazing. Yes, it does drastically change the aesthetics of the camera, but I don't care. This is definitely a case where function wins over form. The only downside that I've found so far is that the plate blocks all of your quarter 20 mounts on the, on the left side of your cage. So if you're planning to fully rig it out with handles, lights, or whatever you're planning to put on the left side, you're gonna have to remove that plate first. But 
if you're gonna rig it out like that, you're probably not doing it for photos, you're probably using it for video, which you're not really worried about portrait orientation. So I don't think that that's a problem. If you're gonna rig it out like that, just pop the plate off. At the time of making this video, the small rig plate is available on Amazon for $19 US. I'll make sure to drop a link down below so you guys can go check it out. Sorry it's taken me so long to follow up with this video, but I wanted to be absolutely sure that this was a good solution before telling you guys about it. I truly apologize to anybody that ran out and bought the small rig L bracket based on my last video. It really was, in my mind, the best solution at that time. I wanna say a huge thank you to the viewers that called me out in the comment section. You guys are awesome. There was no negativity, just friendly conversation, and that's amazing considering how hostile the internet can be these days. And while we're on the subject of comments, there is one comment that I want to address. One viewer did call out that I was only recommending name brand stuff. Now, while that is actually true, um, I, I want to tell you guys that I'm not sponsored in any way and I didn't get any of those products for free. I bought all of that stuff with my own money. So I just wanted to clear the air there. Um, now if any of that changes in the future and companies do start to help me out, then I will definitely make sure to make that clear in my video that it's sponsored or the product has been given to me for free so that way you guys know about that. But at this time I have not received any help. Just wanted to make that clear. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. As you can tell, I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong, but I'll try not to make a habit out of it. <laughs> Please say what's up in the comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. It really makes it feel like we're a community of like-minded people, which is awesome. If you pick up the small rig cage and the small rig plate and it works out for you, let me know, I would love to hear it. Well, all right guys, I hope that video helps to clear some things up. Um, I think I rambled on long enough, so get out there, shoot some photos, shoot some video. Make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can check it out. I'd love to see your guys' work. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.